Hey guys, what's up? Majestic Gaming here, and today we are ranking all of the Halo 5 content updates since they are finally done. We just had the awesome Warzone Firefight, and uh, we thought it'd be cool to go through all eight of them and rank them on which we thought were the best, had the most stuff, and yeah. uh, which made the game better. So all of these, they're not just ranked on like the stuff that came in the rec reveals, but actual stuff added into the game like Forge yeah, and stuff like that. Different new game modes, different stuff like just added to the game, all yeah. that stuff. So, uh, at number 8, we have the worst update, which they didn't even technically call it an update, so... Yeah, um, it's... It, it was just kind of there. Hogwild Who. Oh, so, yeah! It was... It came at the end of May, um... They called it a wreck drop. Not even a full update. It was a wreck dump. Yeah, it added nothing, like, game modes to the game. We did, however, get four new Warthogs, which... Three of were pretty cool. Two of. Yeah, and that was actually the only update that we... Like... I, I even I forgot that update was coming out that day. Yeah, I it was Halo Five, and then restarted it, and it needed to update, and I was like, "Hey." Yeah, it's uh, it it is kind of cool though, and we got the hybrid scope. It's awesome, and we also got the word paperclip with a mustache. So that was probably my favorite thing about the update. Like honestly, like <laughs> seriously, like no, that's not even a joke. Like the, that's the best thing that came in that. Okay, yeah. well, moving on Oof. to number seven, Battle of Shadow and Light. Yeah, uh, Holy this was God. the first DLC that they ever made, so you can't really blame them. They were still getting their stuff together. But, but at um, least they did add in Big Team Battle. Yeah, so there you go. That but was besides the first that, gameplay we ever posted on our channel. It oh my was. God. Well, no, but... Well. <laughs> um, Actually, besides that, it, uh, we also got the Shinobi Arm, which is kind of cool. They were kind of um, nodding to Hayabusa, which we never got. <laughs> and we also got the Woodland and Trun Tundra vehicles, which... Yeah. I'm really glad they added that in. Those are like some main stuff, or main yeah. in the game that I pulled out a lot, like the tank and the... I remember the when we did our rec reveal, so the, keep in mind, this, I don't know, this was like eight months ago, seven months ago, when we we did the rec reveal and this came out, I remember we were so upset because we hadn't gotten our armor, we hadn't had a DMR, not <laughs> ignoring Halo 5's problems, so look where we are now. All this week, we've been getting these gold packs, getting mythic weapons, it's been great. Yeah. Okay, well, moving on to number six is Ghost of Meridian. Yeah. So this one included a um, a couple new things, and one of them was Forge Weather Effects, which is not as... You may not think that's a big thing, but, like... It, it's still pretty cool. It's a pretty big... I, I guess pretty big thing. Yeah. But another, I think, um, this was the one where they added in Gravity Hammers and... Uh, Gravity Hammer Variants. Yeah, and, like the Corpse Maker, Tortoise's Gavel, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, we also got Skirmish Dark Star, which is a pretty cool map. Um, yeah. it, it, it's different than the other ones, I'll say that. Um, you know, it's... Yeah. It, it's different. And uh, yeah. Yeah. We got Hannibal, Hannibal Vehicles, which are awesome, because they shoot lasers. Oh my sick. gosh. And we also got Blue Steel Weapon Skins, which are one of the coolest, like, weapon skins in Halo 5. One of the sets, at least. Yeah. Um, at number 5, we have Infinity's Armory, which... I it was a uh, well, it wasn't a huge update, but it added some cool stuff. It was better than the 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 Ghost of Meridian, yeah. the other ones. But um, it had Urban, which if I'm not mistaken, isn't that the Battle of Noctis Horizon Assault? Map? Assault. Yeah. yeah it's okay. Cool. And then they had the Halo 2 BR, which was really cool. It's awesome. And that was the first one they had pulled from a previous game. Yeah. Like in the same state. Yeah, which was cool. Everyone was excited about that. Yeah, and then we got what was kind of like the highlight of the update, the Achilles armor, which is still awesome because it's the only armor you can actually unlock. Yeah. So other than cool. I would say, I mean the the whatever it's called, Helios Grill, you could yeah, find, but, you but could, that was in previous games. Yeah. But, but, yeah. So. Um, that also came with the <laughs> AR lock and loaded, flash slice, all those quality um, weapon skins. The French fry one. The French yeah. Uh, Lord, Lord of the Lord Fries. Of the, yeah. Quality the skins. The one or the moon. Yeah, um, yeah, that, that ego on old old Abe also came in that. Um, a lot of a lot of cool skins. And then that ho hilarious yeah. <sighs> piece of shit armor, Mark V. Yeah, no, they messed Mark it up. Beta it's or awful. No, Who cares? <laughs> no, no, it's horrible. Um, yeah, so it was it was an okay update. Yeah. Then we here's where we start getting to the good stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think we had like four good updates, two average ones, and then two bad ones. So yeah, and I guess that's pretty good. So. That said, at number four we have Hammerstorm. Hammerstorm, this was oh awesome. my gosh, and they added they added a lot of stuff in that we had wanted for so long. Yeah, we finally like, got mm. a, 
assault, and griff ball, all that you can like customize in custom games. So we got which, gravity hammers. Yeah, they didn't even like the thing is assault. They had it there for like the week it came out, and it's never been a multiplayer since. So I think that's kind of stupid, but that, yeah. that's a whole other problem. But we also got the Halo CE pistol in this update, which was like they didn't even announce it until the like live stream came on. And that, was and the that thing, thing they is so OP, it hurts. Yeah, and it's like it's so cool how they remade it exactly. How like the death animations are the exact same. Yeah, and we also got some cool assassinations. Yeah, we um, got the uh, terminal velocity. That's a really cool assassination. I like that one. We also got finally Fiesta. Finally, could play some bottomless Slayer. Whew. Yeah, 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 yeah. And again. And then Oh, yeah, it, isn't like, this the update they added in, like, they changed a bunch of stuff in the Spartan appearance? Yeah, they changed a bunch of, like, of the, like, interface stuff, um, the way a bunch of stuff looked. I believe this is also where they added in, like, the Spartan Company tab and your friends. Um, yeah, yeah. So that's cool. But yeah, we got, like, true colors, which were awesome, because the colors up to that point were not, uh, not great. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's, uh, that's right. Remember the, with the emblems where you could only choose, like, yeah, colors? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Done screwed up. <laughs> I fixed it, so go you. Um, then, here's where we start into the awesome stuff. Number three, we have Memories of Reach, which was, uh, I'd say, the uh, most anticipated update besides, like, Firefight that was coming. Yeah. This, I mean, definitely. It, yeah. Um, it was a really cool update. It was, we obviously got all the Reach armor and the emblems. And then the mythic weapon, George's Chain Gun. Yeah, that thing's awesome. Which looks great, like the yeah, last wreck. Good. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then... then Everyone this time got access to the Spartan Armory skins in case you didn't want to pay $30. Yeah. You could just get them, like, for free. Um, right. <laughs> infection, you know, that was kind of a big deal. Um, we wanted it, it for a while. Yeah, and that was one of the things that, like, at first, I feel like, when it came out, there were a lot of exploits. Yeah. I don't know if it's some done too well now. Best. I... Th I hope they've taken some of them out of rotation. I haven't really checked in on it in a while. They did fix a lot of things for everything from Halo 4's infection, so... Yeah. In the right direction. And we also got the Phaeton Helios, which is... Which is an OP beat. piece of trash. Yeah. But it was a cool update. It just... It was cool, but it... I, it lacked a main, like... Infection was big, but not yeah, it big lacked, enough like, to... Reach. It, it's like... I don't know. It didn't feel like Memories of Reach. It felt like... Speaking of the which, infection update. Yeah. <laughs> um, number two... We have Cartographer's Gift, which and was huge. It was huge, but I do distinctively remember it coming out the same time we had exams, yeah, so we didn't sucks. really do much on it when it first came out. But obviously also, it added in Forge, which the was The best great. Forge we've had yeah. in a Halo game, and it's awesome. It's still getting updated to last week. Yeah. Um, and it's awesome, and... They added in a bunch of cool stuff, like the, the vents and the pipes. Um, yeah, the and the, we got the, the weapons being able to... For, they added in rec weapons in the forest just recently, and oh yeah, oh my god, that's beautiful. <laughs> they finally figured out that no one liked the design of the new rocket launcher, so they're like, well, let's add in a spanker. Yeah, some awesome variants, including a mythic one. And then Mark IV. Oh, best helmet ever in the game. It it is pretty good. It's amazing. Hey. Um, this is also the first time we got new maps besides big team battle maps. The first new Warzone map. Yeah. Battle this, and overgrowth, which was awesome till the summer updates. Like and when they right. took out the in energy storage. Yeah, now that maps. I haven't. No, I haven't played on that in so long. Like it's out of like the rotation. I played on it the other day, but oh. the rotation in big team battle and in Warzone is just not okay. Okay, Warzone, it's okay. Some like it's okay, but because they're four, like four, yeah. four or five. In maps. Big team battle. You either you get on Scavenger with strongholds, or you get on Antifreeze or Entombed. You don't ever get on Valhalla, the best map that's in the rotation. You don't like get on. Yeah, I've never been on Valhalla or Sandtrap. Yeah, it's it's. Are they in the rotation? They are, because uh, I played on Sandtrap yesterday, and I played what? on Valhalla like two weeks I've, ago. I've, I've played... never played on either of those. That's so yeah, dumb. It's it's annoying. Why is there not map voting? Christ alive! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, besides the fact that Forge should have been in the game when it first released, like everything. Yeah. It was still cool to finally have it, and we also got Seasons and Social Playlists, because... I remember seeing all my ranks reset, and I was like, eh. Yeah, the Seasons were cool, they're still pretty cool, and uh, Social Playlists, they need to be there. I'm glad they... Now they've kind of got it down, they've kept a bunch in there. They kept yeah. taking them out. They're like, we kill special! Like, shut yeah. up. <laughs> okay, um, moving on to our number one spot. We Warzone Firefight. Oh my god. Yeah, so this just came out, obviously the most recent one. And uh, we're not just doing the thing where it's like the most recent one always gets number one. Um, this is the update that by far has had the most like content, game modes, like everything. It added in more achievements, which was the first update to do so. Yeah. The achievements were complete shit. We got them all in one day. 
<laughs> well, uh, yeah. But obviously, Warzone Firefight is really fun. It's got some problems that need fixing. Yeah, like they we sh we shouldn't have to kill thirty knights. How the hell are you supposed to do that at rec level three? Like actually. Yeah, it's got some. I'll pull out my cool wand. Oh I wait. Hate so much the increased spawn time. Like I get what they're trying to do, like make it like a punishment, like you have to survive and can't help your team. But it just like takes you out of it. You're like, oh, better go pour some juice. Yeah, well, no, that is fine. Um, we got finally the UNSC air vehicle, the Wasp. Not what we were hoping for, but it's still cool. I mean, they, it would would have hurt to put in a freaking falcon, <laughs> falcon or pelican or something. <sighs> it's cool, but it feels really similar to the Phaeton, and it's it so feels cool. like an RC like. Yeah, it feels like a, uh, uh, yeah, like RC helicopter, like a uh, those uh, air hogs. That's what they were called, like those air hogs helicopters. It does. Yeah, no. I um, mean, I wish it had like an extra feature, like you could pick stuff up with it. Like yeah, or more people could get in it. It's just so like it's it's, it's just, mediocre. That's yeah, what it's it okay. is. Like it's cool, but like I'm glad it's in the game. Yeah. Like our uh, uh, hot pursuit there, is but, finally complete. But you know, like it's yeah. just. I mean, Warthogs are, like, bigger than that. Like, also, it's insanely small. It's not, like, a negative. It's just, yeah. Um, then we also got the Grunt Goblin, which was a boss in it, in addition to a bunch of new bosses, and that thing is awesome. It is. It makes, like, yeah, they, no. the, uh, they did really good with the, um, the audio. Yeah, the, yeah. That's I, pretty funny. Um, then we got a new Warzone Assault map based on Skirmish of Darkstar, Prospect, which is, I, it's one of my favorite Warzone Assault maps. It's really fun. Um, eh. Yeah, I won't play on it once. And that was like I, I don't, I don't play Warzone Assault very much, yeah. but, well, and then we cool. got something I'm really happy about, which is the Tidal Forge Canvas. Nice looking Forge Canvas, all water. And it is sick. Yeah. Oh my God, it's, I'm change, so glad you could do that. You can change so much map stuff with it. It looks really good. Um, I actually have been making a map on it where like you can make a, fi they added in pipes so you can make like a sewer system below a map, which yeah. is, hey. Um. We also got campaign score attack, par times, par scores, finally. The par scores were really easy to get. Um, really I easy. I don't know what they did. Like, yeah, no, we went into a game. There was like an achievement for getting 500,000. It was kind of like rushed in there at the yeah, end. Yeah, it feels like... It's cool like that they have it, and like I'm, ha I'm all about those par times, you know, but... But, yeah, no, and I, we, we thought the 500,000 achievement was going to be hard, but yeah, no. right now, I we went in in like one try, got yeah, no. I got 2 million, you got like what... Yeah, no, I don't. Even I got two million five hundred thousand. Yeah, and it it's just ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, but it's still cool that it's there. Yeah, and we also finally got wreck weapons in Fiesta, even though they don't work. They're not actually. Tell us if you play Fiesta and you spawn with wreck weapon, because we've tried we it. Ha yeah, we've tried it so many times. It worked. And we got s uh, some wrecks in Forge. It's a shame they couldn't put all of them. I mean, I can't complain, but at the same time, it's like, oh. Uh, yeah. Like, I feel like they could have been, like, gradually adding them in. Like, they didn't have to wait till now. They could have, like, Battle of Shadow and Light, or when. Uh, Infinity's Armory like came out. They could have been like, "All right, here's the first hundred wrecks," and then like Hammerstorm, here's another hundred. Like they could have done it like that. Yeah, and I also don't like like they should keep. There should be a new wreck tab. It shouldn't be like. Yeah. I don't know. They have like the wrecks thing under like the vehicles. If you want to do that. Yeah. It's, but it's still cool. We also got Warzone boss refreshes. So Warzone's not the same thing it's been for the last seven months. You finally get to mix it up and have random bosses respawn, which is awesome. Um, and we got the golf club and red solo cups, so yeah, you just can't complain. Mm -hmm. But uh, Warzone Firefight, all the updates were pretty good. Um, no, they weren't. Four of them were good, and then two of them were okay, and then two of them were awful. But overall, I uh, am I'm disappointed that they're over. And now we just I'm sure they'll like do some bug fixes, but no mm -hmm. more actual content. So darn Halo Six. Darn. Two years. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, tell us what you guys' favorite update is in the comments down below, and thanks for watching Majestic Gaming.